Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go ahead and cover the tools panel. So I lied in the previous video and said we were going to cover making our character from scratch. We're going to do that in a later video. I want to cover this really quick. But starting from here, we have our tools. So first part is the content browser. As you can assume, that is basically anything we want to place. So here I just have an example. It's just a simple data asset or a data, what's it called? data table that contains everything with each category and all that. So for example, I want to go ahead and spawn stairs. I'm in pre-place mode. I'm going to go ahead and place it at the corner there. And that's all there really is. You can go through and do kind of whatever you please. Next up, we have world settings. So here we can control our time of day and the brightness. Now again, everything is already replicated. But for example, I'll go ahead and tweak around with the time of day. And let's see, you should be able to see the sun. Yeah, you can see the sun going back and forth and you can manually enter it if you please so i'll just lock it at 12 and we can bump up the brightness to five and that is a little excessive so back down to two moving on we have our selection details now this is specifically well more so for customizing material as well as manual entries into the location rotation and scale so here we have our rotation our location here we have our rotation which we can modify really as we see fit I shouldn't do 90 because that's like looking the same thing. So 45. Then we have our scale. I'll bump it up by two. And then we have our material. So this is on a per component, per material, per object basis. So here this cube has one mesh and one material. So here we have our mesh and here we have our current material. So I can make it blue, can make it red, and I can convert it back to white. And that pretty much is... Uh, just kind of whatever you have set to be for your selection here. So you can have this, uh, I have two different examples. One is filtered per object. So basically what mesh can have what materials and the default that comes with it is the option of everything can have any material. So here we have an item with two different meshes. So here you can see we have the item, here we have the first mesh and the second mesh. And these can all be set individually. So I can make them both blue. Here we have an item with multiple materials, but one mesh. So mesh main, here we have the first, I'll make it white. And then the second material white as well. And same thing, two meshes and two uh, materials per mesh. So here we can make it white, 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 and white. Now this also works with multiple selections. So I'll select the stairs, stairs, and this bump. And uh, we'll do the cube. So starting with the stairs, let's make basically everything blue. So we have blue stairs, now we have the bump, and then we have the cube. And everything's all set up. So that's basically how you can use the details panel. It's relatively straightforward. Again, everything here in the UI is purely for example. This is built as a framework, so you can really build out a UI in any manner that you please and make it unique to what you want. Next up is our tool settings. So currently we just have snapping. So right now we have location snapping and rotation snapping on. So we're snapping by increments of 10 on the grid, like so. If I disable these, we can move freely, like so. And change our amount. So I'll do 50 and let's do 45. So we'll snap by 45 degrees and each movement will be 50 degrees. Moving on, we have our outliner. So I have two options for this as well, just for the sake of the example, and the default one is everything. So every single actor, so if I add a cube, and I'll add another bump, and another bump, and another bump, here we are adding into our outliner. So I have nothing selected. We can go through and select basically anything we see here from the outliner. So you can go through and you can clear out basically the whole map. I don't want to delete the walls. Well, I'll delete the walls. So on and so on. And lastly, we have our map. So this is our save and load. So here we have our default. I'm going to go ahead and make some changes. So I'll move this cube over here on top of the bump. 
I will add another set of stairs. Actually, I'll go ahead and just spawn in some stairs. That'd probably be a little bit easier. Because I think the pivot point is right about there. One more degree. Get it snapped right to there. And um, let's change the material. So we'll make these all blue. So blue, blue. Oops, that was red. Blue and blue. And then we'll make this guy red and white. All right, let's go ahead and save. And I'll just save it as the example. So I'll press save map. And I'll press play again. So here we have, we're back at the default. Go to our map loader. Hit the drop down and you'll see example. So we just press load map, and here we go. We have our material changes like so. We have our object moved, and we have our new staircase positioned right at the top of whatever this is called. So that pretty much sums up how to go through and use the provided tools. And in the next video, we're probably going to get into some more manual setup and some basic settings. We'll just kind of go from there. I'd like to go ahead and show you how to get everything kind of set up from scratch as it's very simple to do so. So I will see you then.